All right, welcome back to Introduction to Machine Learning. I'm Sandeep Rangan at New York University. This is the 12th and final unit of this class, and today's subject is on clustering, which is a very fundamental, unsupervised learning technique. So to give you an idea of a typical example of clustering, let me introduce the idea of document clustering. So in document clustering, you have a large, what you would call corpus of documents. That is a large group of documents. And this is not, doesn't come to you in any particularly sorted way. And you want to automatically group documents that are similar. Kind of classic application of this is in Google News. So if you went to the Google News page, this is maybe the Google News page, what it looked like maybe about 10 years ago, you would have got something like this. It's some sort of presentation of a stream of news articles. And there's two things I want to point out in this kind of presentation. The first you can see here on the left is that it's automatically classified these types of articles in different categories, like whether it's world, of business, science, and technology, and so on. Now, these are fixed categories, but what's particularly interesting is this. You'll see here that if you take this article, like this one, which is on Libya, you see that it's actually found about 8,000 or 7,600 other articles that are on the same topic. And similarly, on this article about the nuclear crisis in Japan, there was about 30,000 articles. So somehow in this day's news, there's a stream of tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of articles. And somehow Google has automatically found groups of articles that are on similar topics and picked representative articles to present on their web page. And then the question is, how did they do this? Or given a corpus of documents, how could you detect clusters of these documents automatically? Today, I'm not going to show you how to build a document clustering system on the full stream of news articles from around the world. Instead, though, I'll show you a pretty interesting example on a smaller data set that's often used in education called the Usenet news groups. Now, Usenet news groups began in about the late 1970s. So they're really at the very early part of uh, electronic computer networks. And at that time, they were kind of discussion groups on various topics. So for example, here you could see the interface that existed at that time. And you could post in this case to various automobile categories like on four by fours or car shows and so on. Of course, now they peaked actually in the 1990s, but of course there are many better forums for these kind of things today. But for our purpose, it's actually a very useful corpus to work with because the documents are fairly simple. There's not an enormous number of them, but enough to have interesting results. Plus, because you have post two um, specific categories, there's kind of a ground truth for the document categories. Now, so if we go through this lecture today, I want to show you a few things. First, I want to mathematically describe clustering. I'm going to introduce a, one of the basic simple um, clustering algorithms, which is called k-means. Show you how to implement that in Python. And then for documents, I'm going to talk about an important type of representation of documents called the TF-IDF matrix. I'll show you how to um, use that for document classification and clustering. And also we introduce another pre-processing technique for documents called latent semantic analysis. All right, so that gives us our introduction. Let's go on to the next section, which is on k-means.